Okay, so this is a really quick one. So I'm further forward with this part and I'm gonna upload the proper video for this tonight. But quick question, I'm now at the point where I've never done um, tall paths like this before on a fourth axis setup that's gonna situate itself along the table. I've only ever done fourth axis rotary parts which are round. So they're easy to um, center off the part because it's fixed in a three jaw chuck. So the center is always in the middle of the chuck or in the middle of the part, nice and simple. In this, where it's gonna sit onto a table and rotate at a different point, um, I don't know how I program that and I don't know what tool paths I need to use. If any of you guys have got any examples of a part or a tool path, or you could just create one and email it to me at info at kinseyfabrications.co.uk just to share it with me, that would be really appreciated because um, I'm now stepping into the unknown and I now need to learn what and how I program a tool path. Now, I've done a 14 day free trial extension on Fusion 360 for the machining extensions, which give you the Swarth multi-axis um, and those sort of ones. And I've had a quick look at them and I can't get anything to work. Now, I'm obviously doing something wrong. Now, an example of this tool path, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have this on the table. I'd like to have the table rotate to just past 90. So let's say it's sitting up like that. And then I'd like the ball nose to come down and finish in here, just do a parallel tool path maybe, because obviously we hadn't finished this flange. And I've been trying to do that today and I haven't got a clue. I really don't know where to start. Um, same as going in here. I know how I can do it and just tilt the fourth axis, but do I want to get it to be sort of moving as I'm machining it? I'm really not too sure and I am at a very steep learning curve to get these bits done. Now what I can do, which I don't want to do, what I can do is I can fix this at an angle, 25.5 degrees, and I can get to these points, um, and I can do the inside by fixing it at three degrees one way, three degrees the other way. But it's finishing these flanges. They need to be finished, and when you look at the other flange on the other machine, it's been finished how I mentioned. So it looks like it's been tilted up that way, as I said, and the tool has come in and sort of gone along and finished all of that. So you see there, it's probably not the best. So if you see there, if I rest that one on that one, it looks like the tool path has come in the middle here and just gone out like that between the two. And then the same again, it's come in and that's left a really nice tool path. Now, yes, they've done it on a five axis. Maybe I can't do that, I don't know. But if anyone's got any examples, even if it's a mock-up part, I don't expect you to be modeling my parts and doing my tool paths for me, but I just want something where I can look at to see how the selections are done in the multi-axis tool paths. And even if I can do that, I don't know. Um, so yeah, any advice, any samples, anything I found, the Fusion 360 tutorials online, and they're all for just rotary parts, they're all for round, just parts that go around the outside of the shape, nothing where it's more like a five axis tool path where you wanna tilt it up and come in with a tool. Uh, but like I say, I don't know where to start, but I wanna get started. So if any of you guys can help me out, be really appreciated, and look forward to seeing your comments. Cheers for watching.